Hello, good morning, dear students. Welcome to KS or English Made Easy. Today, in the beginning of uh, my video lesson, I would like to show you a video, a video clipping. See that, and we start the lesson after that, right? Her name is Victoria, and she has done something on her laptop, right? And after that, what what did she do? After that, Victoria slept well, right? Very good. So, first she finished her work, and later she slept well. Now see this. In this video clipping, the train left the station, right? He came onto the platform. Okay. Train will go in the other platform. In the first one, Victoria works chase in Taravata sleep chase. That is very clear. But here, we don't have the clarity whether the train leaving the station is the first one or the man coming onto the platform is the next one. ఈ రెండిట్లో మనకి ముందేదన్నది మనకు తెలియదు ట్రైన్ ముందు వెళ్ళిపోయిందా లేదా అతని ప్లాట్ఫామ్ మీదకి ముందు వచ్చాడు అన్నది తెలియదు సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ద సీక్వెన్స్ ఆఫ్ యాక్షన్స్ ఇన్ ద పాస్ట్ టైమ్ వీడియోస్ లెసన్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ హౌ టు ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ద యాక్షన్స్ ఇన్ ఎ సీక్వెన్స్ విచ్ వర్ ఫినిష్డ్ ఇన్ ద పాస్ట్ సో టు ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ దీస్ యాక్షన్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు యూజ్ ఎ టెన్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద టెన్స్ simple past tense no it is past perfect tense right we have to use past perfect tense to express a completed action before another action in the past so let me tell you uh, clearly uh, about this tense with some examples illustrations as well as a small exercise at the end right Dear, if you haven't subscribed my channel, KSR English Made Easy, please do subscribe my channel and press on the bell icon and select all so that you get notifications related to all my latest videos about English language. So, uh, we have to understand what the past perfect tense is. Perfect means, it's not an ordinary word, it is a grammatical word. Perfect means completed. here past perfect means the action which was completed by a past time right so gathamulo oka past time kanna mundu jarigipoyina panni past perfect antaru right and an action which was finished before another action completed in the past has to be always in past perfect tense right so let me make this concept very clear with this definition past perfect tense is used to indicate an action which was completed before another action happened in the past ante past lo oka pani kanna mundu jarigipoyina panni past perfect lo cheppali mari dan tarava jarigina panni endulo cheppali simple past lo cheppali this is what today's lesson is now the, with this diagram i would like to make very clear for this this is today and this one is yesterday and this one is day before yesterday the entire part is past time this is past okay we use be to it's all clear to all of us deeni kanna mundu inkok action jarigind ankonde this has to be used in past perfect tense by the usage of this one v3 and with the help of helping verb had had plus v3 use చేసి ఈ యాక్షన్ మనం చెప్పాలి దాని తర్వాత జరిగిందండి సింపుల్ పాస్ట్ అంటే v2 యూస్ చేసి మనం చెప్పాలి చూడండి ఇక్కడ దెర్ మస్ట్ బి టూ పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్స్ రెండు పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్స్ జరగాలి వన్ యాక్షన్ వన్ యాక్షన్ మస్ట్ హ్యాపన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ది అదర్ ఒకటి దాని తర్వాత ఒకటి జరగాలి అంటే రెండు ప్యారల్ గా జరగకూడదు ఇట్ మీన్స్ సెమల్టేనియస్ గా జరగకూడదు 
then the first action must be in past perfect tense it means had plus v3 lo cheppali in the fourth one the second action must be in simple past ante v2 lo cheppali so this uh, example uh, with the illustration with the picture uh, you can easily understand the concept of usage of past perfect tense in real life and i will give you uh, the structure subject plus had plus v3 object suppose if you take go here we have to use gone if you use do use done if you take drive you have to use driven had plus gone had plus done had plus driven followed by an object or complement so for this i want to give an example i had given the book then book evadam jarigindi past lo oka samayaniki mundu smith had found a new job smith oka kotha job vetukodam jarigindi past lo oka samayaniki mundu she had gone ame velipoyindi that means uh, by a certain time in the past right these are the three examples of past perfect but how do we use this in real life right so how do you combine two actions which were already happened in the past అంటే గతంలో రెండు పాస్ట్ యాక్షన్ జరిగితే రెండింటిని ఎలా కంబైన్ చేయాలి నా ఫస్ట్ ఎలిస్ట్రేషన్ ద ట్రైన్ లెఫ్ ది స్టేషన్ ఇది ఫస్ట్ యాక్షన్ వీ వెంట దేర్ మనం అక్కడికి వెళ్ళాము ఆ తర్వాత జరిగిన యాక్షన్ నా వీ కంబైన్ దీస్ టూ ద ట్రైన్ హ్యాడ్ లెఫ్ ది స్టేషన్ బిఫోర్ వీ వెంట దేర్ ఇది ముందు జరిగింది కాబట్టి లెఫ్ట్ ని హ్యాడ్ లెఫ్ట్ కింద మనం మార్చాం ఇది తర్వాత జరిగింది కాబట్టి అలా పాస్ట్ టెన్స్ లో మనం వీటిలో ఉంచేసాం రైట్ so these two sentences are combined with a conjunction called before before we went the went there akadiki vellak munde the train had left the station train velipoyindi ide same manam we use this with after after the train had left the station we went there train velipoyina tarvata mem akadiki vellamu right so using after and before we have to combine this after enactment word past perfect tense ki attach cheyandi before enactment word past tense sentence ki attach cheyandi this is very simple right next we go with the illustration 2 we took the ticket we got into the bus we have taken the ticket before we got into the bus before we got into the bus bus lo oka vellak munde we had taken the ticket munde me ticket teeskunnam right next after we had taken the tickets tickets teeskunna tarvata ante after tho use cheyalante we got into the bus so taking tickets is the first action and getting into the bus is the second action now the third illustration she wished him ame atanni wish chesindi the party started party started mundu wish chesindi kabatti she had wished him before the party started ame mundu wish chesindi before the party started party start up ku munde so this is in past perfect the next action is in simple past right now um, with the word after after she had wished him wish chesina tarvata the party started party start ayindi both are same but remember the word after should always attach with the uh, sentence or the clause Uh, which contains had plus v3 and before must be attached to the clause which has v2 right next we do a small exercise uh, to let ourselves know how far we have understood uh, i will give you uh, small sentences here uh, which are combined with after and before exercise 1 after my mother complete her cooking she switch on the television ee renditlo edu mundu jarigindi ela telusukovali ఆఫ్టర్ అనే వర్డ్ కి ఏది కంబైన్ అయ్యిందో అది ముందు జరిగింది దట్స్ ఇట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ సింపుల్ అంటే దిస్ హ్యాస్ టు బి చేంజ్ ఇన్ టు హ్యాడ్ ప్లస్ వి త్రీ అండ్ దిస్ హ్యాస్ టు బి చేంజ్ విత్ షిఫ్ట్ టు వి టు దట్స్ ఇట్ నౌ సి ద ఆన్సర్ ఆఫ్టర్ మై మదర్ హ్యాడ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ హెర్ కుకింగ్ షీ స్విచ్ ఆన్ ద టెలివిజన్ అంటే ముందు కుకింగ్ కంప్లీట్ అయింది టెలివిజన్ ఆన్ చేయడం నెక్స్ట్ యాక్షన్ now the second exercise after they eat the samosas they start to omit so after an eight went the then it link up and it is mundu jarigindi so this has to be changed into past perfect and this has to be in the simple past after they had eaten the samosas they started to omit samosas tinna tarvata 
omit cheyadam modalu pettaru next the third exercise seema dash start shouting at her brother insult her so seema munda arichinda with the brother mundu insult chesada first action and this is the second action so this has to be changed into past v2 and this has to be changed into had plus v3 right see the answer seema started shouting after her brother had insulted her the brother insult chesina tarvata ame shout cheyadam modar pettindi so atana mundu insult chesadu anartham now the fourth one she dash say that she not visit the zoo park before sir before ante idu mundu jarigindi anamata manaki so this is the second action ante this one has to be in v2 and this has to be in the had plus v3 right she said that she had not visited the zoo park before ame em cheppindante intaku mundu eppudu kuda intaku mundu eppudu kuda zoo park visit cheyaledu ani cheppindi ante visit cheyakapodam anedi earlier action cheppadam anedi next action right and now uh, now that you have seen all the examples uh, related to past perfect thank you one and all for visiting my channel and listening to past perfect tense if you have any questions regarding the grammar topics please write to me in the comment section uh, don't forget to uh, comment on this and uh, let me uh, clarify your doubts if you have related to this and please do subscribe my channel ksr english made easy if you haven't yet and thank you for listening to me uh, have a good day bye bye keep learning